Merkel cell carcinoma is a rare but aggressive type of skin cancer. It primarily develops in the Merkel cells, which are located at the base of the epidermis, which is the outermost layer of the skin, and it's involved in the sense of touch. So Merkel cell carcinoma often appears as a painless, firm, flesh-coloured or bluish-red nodule on the skin. We're going to discuss further details on Merkel cell carcinoma in today's video. So the exact cause of Merkel cell carcinoma is not fully understood, but it's believed to be associated with exposure to ultraviolet radiation from the sun and damage to the skin's DNA. It can also be down to immunodeficiency, such as that seen in people with HIV and AIDS, or those who have undergone organ transplantation and are on immunosuppressive drugs. That can be a significant risk factor. Another potential cause could be Merkel cell polyoma virus infection, and this is thought to play a role in the development of some Merkel cell carcinoma cases. The most common symptom is the appearance of a painless, firm, dome-shaped nodule on the skin that's typically red, blue or flesh-coloured. The nodules are often fast-growing and can vary in size from a few millimetres to a few centimetres. The Merkel cell carcinoma lesion may be mistaken for other skin conditions such as cysts or benign growths. There are some risk factors in developing Merkel cell carcinoma. So the first could be UV exposure. So chronic sun exposure and a history of sunburns are risk factors. In terms of age, Merkel cell carcinoma is more common in older adults, typically occurring after the age of 50. Immunodeficiency, which we mentioned before. Individuals with weakened immune systems have higher risk. Fair skin, so people with fair skin are also at greater risk, and prior skin cancer, so a history of other skin cancers increases the risk of developing Merkel cell carcinoma. In terms of its development, Merkel cell carcinoma arises from Merkel cells, which are found in the epidermis and they are involved in the sensation of touch. Mutations in the DNA of Merkel cells, often due to UV exposure, are believed to trigger the uncontrolled growth of these cells, leading to the formation of a tumour. To diagnose Merkel cell carcinoma, it involves a combination of clinical examination and lab tests. So a skin biopsy is performed to confirm the presence of Merkel cell carcinoma, and it may include a immunohistochemistry to detect specific markers associated with Merkel cell carcinoma. Imaging tests like CT scans and PET scans may be done to determine the extent of the disease and check for the spread of the cancer to nearby lymph nodes or other organs. In terms of treatment for Merkel cell carcinoma, it often involves a combination of therapies and that specific approach depends on the stage of the cancer. So surgery is one option, so surgical removal of the tumour is typically the primary treatment. Lymph node dissection may also be necessary. Radiation therapy, so high energy x-rays or other forms of radiation may be used to kill the cancer cells. Chemotherapy, so systemic chemotherapy, may be recommended for advanced or metastatic Merkel cell carcinoma. Immunotherapy, so immune checkpoint inhibitors, such as avelumab, have shown promise in treating Merkel cell carcinoma by enhancing the immune system's ability to target cancer cells. Merkel cell carcinoma is an aggressive cancer and early diagnosis and treatment are essential for the best possible outcome. Regular skin examinations and sun protection measures can help reduce the risk of developing Merkel cell carcinoma. So we've made it to the end of the video. If you've made it all the way to the end, leave a 100 emoji. If you have any questions about Merkel cell carcinoma, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.